I want to take a few moments to talk about an awesome collaborative space provided by Google called Jamboard. The web version has been updated quite a bit, and so I want to spend a little time talking about how you can utilize it with your teammates or with your students. So let's just jump right in. All right, so I go to jamboard.google.com, and when I want to start a new one, I click on the plus, and it's going to start a new jam. And this is not near as robust as the Android version. I kind of like the basic version because sometimes simpler is, is better. But anyway, this works really well on a touchscreen device. I'm not using a touchscreen device at the moment. So just keep in mind that I am a little rusty here with my mouse. The mouse isn't going to work near as well as using a touchscreen, but you'll get the idea. So up here at the top, it's treated much like a document in Google. Anytime you want to rename a document, you click on the title itself. You're able to rename the document and hit OK, and it is renamed. Here you have some basic tools. You have a pen, you have an eraser, you have a palette so you can change the color, a cursor, and some sticky notes. And like I said, the Android version has a lot more tools that you can put in. You can put in documents and, and, and much more. There's a lot of fun things that you can do and add multiple pages. But what I kind of like the idea of doing is setting up students so that way they have this version and they don't have as many flashy tools to goof around with. And maybe you just want them to focus on the brainstorming and then the teacher could use the Android version so that way they had all the bells and whistles that you, they would like to have. Um, so I'm gonna get started here. I'll talk about the pen. So the pen actually works pretty good if you're using the web version and you're trying to use a, a mouse. It's not too bad. Um, but it does work better if you're using a touch screen. And not only that, but the Android version has the capability of even reading your handwriting and adjusting it and making it into text. At any time, these items can be erased like so, which is time consuming. But if you want a quick, clean, clear board, you can click on the little arrow beside there and it cleans the board. You'll see that there are little arrows beside each tool. And when you click on that, it gives you some more options. And then if you want to have different colors and whatnot, you have to change that color from the palette. There's not a ton of color options in the web version, but it gives you some tools to work with and some basics. So that way you have some pens to work with, you have some markers or paintbrush. This is a paintbrush, but really to me, looks more like a highlighter. Works pretty well for a highlighter anyway. In the web version, you do not have the capability of moving drawings around, but you do have the capability of moving sticky notes and other objects that have been added. I am going to go ahead and show you the sticky note feature. I like this idea for brainstorming so students could have different ideas if they're sorting uh, different animals that they like. I don't know, I'm just jotting down some ideas. I hit save and if I say, uh, let's go, I'll just write some in here. Okay, so I have some different ideas and you can take these and move them around however you would like and the ideas could be connected together. Uh, let me grab the eraser here and it's what's nice is that if you do use the eraser it does not move the text all it does is do the drawing and so that's all taken away i could do a little sort here like so break them apart and then they could decide how they want to organize items all right so there's a nice little t-chart quickly made on the fly so let's look at what else is available. If I click on the three dots here, the more actions, I call them the meatballs, then you're able to rename, add collaborators, download as a PDF, save it as an image, remove it, uh, or have people connect by a jam code. You can do it a lot of different ways. I like to use the idea of using collaborators and just adding them directly. Um, if you add your entire class, that could get a little hectic. Um, you may wanna just add a few people and then a few people sit around a Chromebook or an iPad and work in the space while the rest of the students sit and give them ideas and work as a collaborative group. I'm going to go ahead and add a student so you get an idea. And we'll put my fake student in here and you have the ability to make it that they can edit or just view. It's up to you however you wanna do it. I'm not gonna do this, but I will show you that you can also make these wide open so that way if you wanted parents to join, or if you wanted uh, teachers from other school districts to join, you could make it that anyone with a link could get to it um, without an email address involved. Just letting you know that that capability is available. I'm gonna save this. And now my fake student can access. And when my fake student goes to jamboard.google.com and they refresh the screen, then they are able to get to the Jamboard space. When they click on the Jamboard that has been shared, you'll see that it'll show that the fake student has joined, which is kind of fun. And now the fake student has writing capabilities, but the pen will be the first thing that is activated. And when I start doing that, then it starts leaving marks. I'm gonna hit undo a couple of 
times here. The students will need to switch to a cursor so that way they can move items around. They can't move the handwriting, just the sticky notes that have been added. Not sure why cow was over here on my screen, but it's moved now. All right, so then the students could make adjustments to these. So if they wanted to make, let's say we sort these by mammals or uh, not mammals, because yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna change this, edit, and we'll make it that mammals are orange. And we'll change that again, save, and I'll put mammals over here. And let's change this to green. And as you can see, this is all changing on the teacher screen as well. And so anyone that is accessing it would see the same thing going on here. And so now I have cat and cow on one side and I have snake and frog on the other side. And then some additional text could be added if they choose to do mammals. Oops. And then let's do, there we go. And then these items could be moved and the students could make that decision too. They could add these items. They could put mammals and not mammals however they want. And there we go. And so then these items are able to be sorted and organized however you wish. And the students have the ability to access that. Pretty fantastic. So when the teacher is done, then they have the ability to download. Uh, they could save it as an image or a PDF. It's up to however they want. They could send it out to the students and then they'd have access to that workspace that they did as a class. Now, if a teacher wants to shut down the activities and go to add collaborators, they can kick students out at any time, just make them view access or edit access. If I hit view, then the student can still see it, but at the same time, they won't be able to edit it. So the editing tools will eventually go away. So that way uh, the teacher can keep these items the way they want and the students can still access it. So now when the students go to Jamboard and try and visit it, yes, they can still visit it, but they will not have the ability to move the item around. It'll say view only. Now that's interesting that the cow is appearing where it is. I'm not sure why that is. So let's move that back and see what happens to the fake student now. Ah, see, it moved it. So I'm not sure why it appeared goofy there for a moment, but it did. All right, so that's a little bit about Jamboard. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you come up with some really cool ideas. Uh, like I said, this is just the web version. The Android version is so much more robust, but if you're looking for a great space for collaboration and planning and sorting ideas and generating ideas, jamboard.google.com is a great place to get started.